There's actually very few studies in ketogenic diets, period, um, which um, uh, should tell you something. Bottom line is um, do not eat a ketogenic diet. I'm just, that's, that's more of a spoiler alert. Um, and so once you see the science, I think you will agree that you're glad you were not on a ketogenic diet. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> just like that. We're taking this to a whole nother level on Dr. Greger's latest live stream on nutritionfacts.org. Somebody asked him about the science comparing a vegan diet to a ketogenic diet. I'm about to roll the full clip so you can see it for yourself. All I can say is that Dr. Greger's response is priceless. And it looks like he's about ready to start dropping some videos specifically about the science behind the ketogenic diet. This year is definitely going to be, be bringing about some big changes in public perception. And this is really a battle in a much larger context of conflicting information. It's not about keto or vegan. It's about facts and common sense versus unlimited industry funded marketing budgets. It's about 110 years of cumulative medical knowledge versus flash in the pan cholesterol deniers and people trying to make a buck off of your declining health. Which side are you on? Laura Perry asks, ketogenic diet includes nuts and flax seeds. Nuts and flax seeds are good. Ketogenic diets are not. Are there any studies on vegan versus ketogenic? There's actually very few studies on ketogenic diets, period, um, which um, uh, should tell you something. Um, or is it just another low-carb diet repackaged? It is another low-carb diet um, repackaged, but um, has, uh, you know, it's just the way they can twist it into a new packaging um, is uh, by tweaking further. So uh, truly ketogenic diets are extremely low carbohydrate diets. Um, and I have a series of videos um, uh, of the, that I'm gonna do on ketogenic diets and intermittent fasting, water only fasting. Um, it's just that this book deadline slipped in and, uh, and, and cut me off right when I was doing those, but I will get those up eventually. Bottom line is um, do not eat a ketogenic diet. I, but, but don't listen to me, listen to the science, and I wish I could present you the science right here, but unfortunately, you'll have to subscribe to NutritionFacts.org and wait until um, it comes up. But, um, uh, and I don't want to say trust me, but I'm just, that's, that's more of a spoiler alert. Um, and so once you see the science, I think you will agree that you're glad you were not on a ketogenic diet. Okay, bottom line is... Um, do not eat a ketogenic diet. I know this may be hard for some of you to accept, and you may not like what I'm saying, but the mark of an educated man is to be able to consider something without immediately accepting or rejecting it. Because he's kind of gentle and soft-spoken, a lot of people might not realize Dr. Greger is one of the preeminent medical professionals who have gone head-to-head -head with low-carb diets and their promoters. He got sued by the Atkins Foundation, Low carb diets are the original fad diet. It's just a fact that ketogenic diets are inherently extremely low carb diets. Dr. Atkins was an advocate of ketosis. One of the symptoms of ketosis is confusion. When you're most susceptible, fad diet promoters seek to capitalize off of your vulnerability. Fad diets are about money book sales, supplements, snack bars, stimulants, prescription drugs, and the health costs and consequences resulting from chronic diseases of nutritional ignorance and dietary excess. People are confused about what to eat. On this channel, I advocate a plant-based diet containing lots of whole foods. This is how people are gaining control of their health. This is what I'm doing but I didn't accept or reject this lifestyle without considerable personal cost as a result of exploring other options like low carb, ketosis, and locavore paleo. You don't have to make the same mistakes other people are making. If you want to avoid the fad diet trap, make sure you keep it subscribed right here at Red Pill Vegan. Hit the bell notification so you really know what time it is. 
And if you want to help me amplify this message so we can help other people avoid the fad diet trap, then come see me on Patreon.